Today we're going to be talking about a variation on the area between curves problem, which is how to find the area of a triangle with given vertices. So we've been given the vertices 0, 0, 3, 1, and 1, 2, which are the corners of the triangle, and we've been asked to find the area of this triangle. So this is really just an area between curves problem, and let's go ahead and draw a picture of it so that we have an idea of what we're doing um, before we get started. So if we just graph each of these coordinate points on an XY coordinate plane, then we'll get a real good picture of the area problem that we're dealing with. So if I just uh, mark off my points like this, and I say that I have the point 0, 0 as one of my vertices, I have the point 3, 1, so I go out to 3, 1, and I have the point 1, 2, so 1, 2, then I have a triangle that is formed by these three points here. So basically what I need to realize is that this is simply an area between curves problem and I need to divide my triangle into two segments and they're, it's going to be divided just like this. So to the left of this line, to the left of the line x equals 1, I'm going to have an area between curves problem where I subtract this lower line here from the upper line. To the right of the line x equals 1, I'm going to be subtracting this lower line here from this upper line here. So what I really need are equations for each of these three lines. And that's pretty easy to do. Let's go ahead and label these here. We have 0, 0, we have 1, 2, and we have 3, 1. So as a reminder, I've written the point slope form for the equation of the line. We're going to be using that to find the equation of each of these lines, each side of the triangle. So let's go ahead and find the equation for this segment here between 0, 0 and 1, 2. We'll use 1, 2 as the point, and we'll use 1, 2 and 0, 0 to find the slope. So the formula for the equation of the line here, I'll have y minus y sub 1, so we'll use the y value in this coordinate point 2, and you can use either point for the x sub 1, y sub 1 point, it doesn't matter. But we'll use this one, so y minus 2 is equal to m, which I find here by subtracting one y coordinate from the other and one x coordinate from the other. So I'm going to take 2 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0, the x coordinates. So 2 minus 0 over 1 minus 0 times x minus x sub 1. And because we used 2 for the y sub 1 coordinate, I'm going to use 1 for the x sub 1 coordinate. So minus 1. And now I just need to simplify this. So I get y minus 2 is equal to 2 over 1 is just 2 times x minus 1. And when I simplify this, I'll get y is equal to 2x minus 2 over here on the right, 2x minus 2, and I'm going to go ahead and add this 2 to both sides to get plus 2. So what I really end up with is just y equals 2x. So I can go ahead and label this section here y equals 2x, that's the equation of that line. Now we need to go ahead and find the other two. So let's go ahead and do this line here between 1, 2, and 3, 1. So let's use 3, 1 as our point. So we'll get y minus 1 is equal to, now I'm going to subtract my y coordinates, so I'll get 1 minus 2 over 3 minus 1 times x minus 3. And when I simplify this, I'll get y minus 1 is equal to negative 1 over 2 times x minus 3. And I'll end up with y equals negative 1 half x plus 5 halves. So that's my equation here for this line. Now the last side of my triangle from 0, 0 to 3, 1, I'll do the same thing. I'll get y minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 0 over 3 minus 0 times x minus 3. 
y minus 1 is equal to 1 third times x minus 3. So I'll get y equals 1 third x minus 1 plus 1 and y equals 1 third x. So this line here is going to be y equals 1 third x. And now this just becomes an area between curves problem. So what we need to realize here is that on the range x equals 0 to x equals 1 in between these points here, we're going to be taking the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 1 of the top line y equals 2x, so 2x minus the bottom line, and we know the equation for that is 1 third x, so minus 1 third x dx. This integral right here will give me this area here, this part of my triangle. Now I need to add to that the second half of my triangle, so I'll get plus the integral, and here I'm going to be integrating from x equals 1 to this point here, which we know is x equals 3 because we have the x coordinate right here. So we're going to put our limits of integration as 1 to 3. Then we have our top line here, our upper function, which we know to be negative 1 half x plus 5 halves. And then we're going to subtract from that our lower function, the lower line, 1 third x, so minus 1 third x dx. And that integral will give me this area here. Now all that's left to do is just simplify and evaluate our integrals. So for the first integral here, we have 2x minus 1 third x. Keep in mind that 2x is the same as 6 thirds x. So we have 6 thirds x minus 1 third x will just give us 5 thirds x. So we'll be taking the integral from 0 to 1 of 5 thirds x dx. So that's how we simplify that one. And then the integral from 1 to 3, we have negative 1 half x minus 1 third x. If we find a comma denominator, we'll get negative 3 over 6 x minus 2 over 6 x, which will give us negative 5 over 6 times x, and then of course plus 5 halves dx. We've simplified as much as we can, so now we need to evaluate the integrals. Obviously, we'll just use power rule, and we'll add one to the exponent and then divide by the new exponent. So for the first one here, we're going to raise x to the power of 2, so this becomes x squared, and then we divide by 2, so we're going to end up with 5 over 6 x squared, evaluated on the range 0 to 1. And then for the second one here, we'll get plus, and then here we're going to get x squared again, and then of course divide by 2, so we'll get negative 5 over 12 x squared, and then plus 5 halves x, and we'll evaluate that on the range 1 to 3. When we evaluate definite integrals like this, we plug in the top number, and then we subtract whatever we get when we plug in the bottom number. So we'll get here, we'll get 5 6 times 1 squared minus 5 6 times 0 squared. That's the first piece. And then here, we're going to get the same, the same thing. We're going to plug in 3 first and then subtract whatever we get when we plug in 1. So we'll get negative 5 twelfths times 3 squared plus 5 halves times 3 minus what we get when we plug in 1. So we'll get negative 5 twelfths times 1 squared plus 5 halves times 1, and then we'll just close that. And now it's just pure arithmetic. 5 sixths times 1 squared is just 5 sixths minus anything times 0. That's going to go away. Then we'll have plus, and then inside our parentheses here, we have 3 squared, which is 9. 9 times 5 is 45, so we end up with a negative 45 twelfths. Here we get 5 halves times 3, which is going to give us 15 halves, so plus 15 over 2. Then here we have negative 5 twelfths times 1 squared, which is just a negative 5 twelfths, but we have a double negative here, so we'll get plus 5 twelfths. 
and then we have five halves times one, which is just five halves, but because of the negative sign, we have a minus five halves. So now we can call this five sixths minus 45 twelfths plus 15 halves plus five twelfths minus five halves, and we just need a least common denominator, which we can see is going to be 12 here because 6 and 2 both go into 12. So in order to get a least common denominator, we'll multiply 5 sixths by 2 over 2, and we'll get 10 twelfths minus 45 twelfths. We'll multiply 15 halves times 6 over 6, and we'll get 90 over 12 plus 5 twelfths. And then we'll multiply the negative 5 halves times 6 over 6, and we'll get minus 30 over 12. When we add these all up, we get 10 plus 90 is 100, minus 45 is 55, plus 5 is 60, minus 30 is 30. So we end up with 30 twelfths, which is equal to 15 sixths. And when we divide both of those by 3, we get 5 halves. So five halves is the total area for this entire triangle here between these three vertices, these three coordinate points that we were given that define the corners of the triangle. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.